Sometimes the spirit of adventure beckons so much it's pointless to resist it. Some people find enough courage to get on a train and head off into outer space. Hmm. No. Also no. Wrong again. These are all wrong stories. Ah, there it is, the forest. This train was passing through impenetrable, dense forests. However, that was not an aimless journey, but a long way up here, right into the heart of the endless, snowy nowhere. A perfect place for those who prefer tranquility, silence, and minus 45 degrees outside the window. Brr. Meet the man who made off into this palace of silence, the engineer. He'll be here on watch duty for many long and cold months, until the next lucky guy strides in to replace him. If one comes through at all, of course. But there's no need to feel sorry for him. Although the terrain is wild, there's plenty to see and do around here. Especially if you're curious enough. Fortunately for my story, engineers are almost always inquisitive and attentive. These people notice things that elude the average person. And everything would have been fine in this adventure if the blizzard had not started at the wrong time. The chilly wind blew the engineer off the trail, which he immediately lost sight of. His fingers instantly turned into ice like everything else around him. The last hope of salvation, a map of the terrain, treacherously slipped out of his hands. Luckily, the video's timing didn't allow the engineer to suffer for long. All of a sudden, in the middle of snowy nowhere, it appeared. A door to... Where to, by the way? The building didn't seem to be on the engineer's maps. Anybody home? This is how it all usually starts. All right, guys, welcome. In that strange hut, there welcome, was welcome. No people, no warmth, only darkness. Only darkness. But guys, I was saying welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to Voyage Train, um, a game that obviously you guys were recommending and was comparing. To the heat death gameplay that we've recently re, uh, released uh, so i thought i'll check this out and i believe it's been in early access for two years now uh, it is more of a finished and polished product uh, as you can tell there's dialogue and everything and we have to turn on the light so uh, i've never played this before i don't know much about it all i know is that we kind of uh, have a train and we go through voids um, I don't know if, if it's wrong, like I oh. look for a key or something that looks like a key, maybe just something heavy. Just smash it open, maybe. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hopefully, well, nothing. I don't think that's going to help. Oh, coffee cup. Love the animations, the visuals, and the narration. It's fantastic so far. Hmm, hey, uh, there we go. Gotta grab oh. It. oh, so that goes in my wrist strap. <laughs> That's cool. Open the fuse box. But guys, hopefully you enjoy the content, and if you do, as always, remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment. Fix with a hammer. Any other ideas? Even if he's just a bloody emoji. Uh, we'll try to repair it. We need a new fuse. Maybe not. Maybe a little bit of duct tape. I do oh, love uh, the comedy. And so, my glorious hero, having passed all the hardships of his watch, finally obtains a light in order to... Hmm. Whoa. To notice something strange on the table? Blueprints. A switch. I don't have a clue what's going to do, what it's going to do. Uh-oh.
Oh, I'm such a spoon. And I love it. Na, 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 na. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Chapter one. Entering the void. Hey, you all right? Oh, you're finally awake. Hmm. A typical day on watch, huh? Oh my god, hello. Friendly? Oh, there. This is cool. We're definitely in the unknown, which well, means there's going to be threats of the unknown. I feel like things flying around. We've got a break. Oh, my God. Can I? I can't honk the horn. There's something over there I need to. Can I just. Jump off this. Pick up the diary. Uh. Oh my god. I got it. Oh, so it's automatically hooked me on. That's pretty cool. I don't know about the length of that, though. So we have a journal. Data on the scientists. And it's just a straight pull. We have no engine yet, of course. A quest, the beginning. Sometimes a coincidence, a coincidence can open the door to a new destiny. One where you have to start all over again. This is our current objectives. Got no notes, data on the scientist. Obviously, we can't read this. We have tutorials, the diary, press J to open uh, it from your inventory. And cosmetic items, hammer, rails, bracer, and journal. Visual appearance. We can change the look of the hammer. Of course. Such an inventive mind wouldn't have any trouble figuring out the mechanism of a simple trolley. You'll be surprised, my dude. I would think. Oh, I think we're going the wrong way. Well, pretty much. Try pulling the other lever. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one. So that goes forward. And this is to release the brake. Okay. All right now. Just slowly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we can see the track kind of being built in front of us. And there is things like up there I can actually grab. I should have actually grabbed. Look, there's stuff up everywhere. We are, I love the sound of the train. Oh. Ah. That's a useful book you've picked up. Is the author some kind oh, crap. of scientist or inventor? I hope he's not too upset that we stole his train. That was awkward. Times five. Okay, we're picking up speed now. I do want to kind of grab some of this stuff. Because I feel like I should be grabbing it. But it's a pretty decent concept to this game right now. Hold F to pull up to the train. Ah, okay. Good to know. I don't know how far I can go from the train. Oh my god, that's a big lollipop. So I don't know if the worlds are procedurally generated. I couldn't tell you that. What I'll do is I'll do some research after my current recording session. And I will tell you either in the next video that we do or in a couple of videos time. But keep an eye out for that. And I will let you know uh, after I do a little bit of exploring.
I do believe this has to have a max speed. Oh. And we will get to customise our whole train eventually. I'm just going to kind of run and grab stuff as I see it. I should check my journal here real quick as well. There we go. Let me quickly check my journal because we've got a new builder research table. Okay. Um, N. Get the hammer out. Okay. Um, filter. Deconstruct. Filter floor. Okay, so we can remove and stuff. Um... Is it in my journal? Oh! Here we go. Okay, research table. And we can just place this freely. And um, we can rotate it. Rotates on a 90 degree angle. Just kind of just place that there for now. Oh my god, we can put chairs. Oh my god. Storage, production, decor. And this is all the building stuff right now. Decorative object DLC supporter pack. This is pretty cool. So we can do some research. Inactive. Select a blueprint. Do we want to go for a smelter? Unlocks the building smelter. Unlocks the blueprints copper bars. Or do we want to unlock container? For I think we go for the smelter. To be honest. Uh, oh, we need scrap metal. Not enough for resources requirement. I need two scrap metal. Good to know. To be honest, I don't know if this track will ever run out. Whoa. Okay, good to know about that. This kind of propels you. I'm just going to grab more stuff over here. I wonder if I'll get pulled by the train. Let's just... Oh, we are getting pulled by the train. Good to know. So if I want to catch up to it, I'll just hold the F and jump onto it. Bob is your uncle. Beautiful. So we... The music's starting to kick in. I don't know why. So that's going to research now. Uh, that's going to take some time. We can see by the blue bar. And then for this one, we need an iron bar. So we do need to build a smelter. Which is here. It allows crafting iron and copper bars. We have enough to build it. Uh, and I'm just going to place this... Uh, there's not much room to kind of go with right now. But I'll place it there. And then we jump into here. Iron boys, we need scrap metal. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a void gate, which means I'm coming close to the edge, right? Which I don't really want to do yet. We've got some stuff we got to do. So let's release the brake. Let's go backwards a little bit. And start grabbing some supplies here. Otherwise, all of this... Like, basic stuff is just going to be a waste. So let me know in the comments if you guys have played this. What's your thoughts on the game? Uh, I'd be very interested to know. This music, though. Boom, 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 boom. I didn't want to jump on there right now. Grab more of these. Just kind of stay away for that right now. Otherwise, it's going to sling me in the opposite direction. Chemicals. I'm just kind of going to move with it. I don't know if we have an inventory size. I would think we do. Otherwise, we wouldn't have storage. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Oh, we've got some wood. That's the first time we've collected some of that. And it's good to note as well that my cable actually goes through rocks and 
uh, debris and all that stuff, which is good to know. Some more of this iron. Are these able? No. Can't collect them. Right, let's pull myself towards this and start making it go forward again. We're going to start getting some iron bars. Not enough fuel. Ah, I need to put wood in here. Add fuel. Wood. So let's add some iron bars. Let's craft three of them. It's going to take 28 seconds and it costs us 30 fuel. Good to know. I am kind of getting raft vibes from this, for sure. Uh, obviously, being on a platform, building your base, um, grabbing your supplies, and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but I don't know if the more of the voids we go through, because I did see the trailer, and I saw that there was like Void 69 and Void 82, and it was kind of reversing. Um, and I don't know if the more voids we go through, the more difficult it gets, the more different enemies we come across. So I'm blind into what's going to happen. Um, but I'm looking forward to it and just seeing what's going to happen. And let me know, like, obviously the more likes you guys put on this video, the more I understand that you guys want to see more of these. Uh, so please hit that like button uh, and I'll know that you kind of want the series to kind of continue and all that kind of good stuff. So we got... A smelter of three iron boys right there. Uh, now we should be able to make a storage. Oh, I need one more wood. I need more wood, which I've not really seen much of, if I've got to be honest with you. I could just be blind. There's some right there. Oh, we can kind of... See. Whoa, I didn't actually look up to that. It's like big tentacles over there. That's crazy. I swear to God, if there's any like big creatures in this, this they will kind of freak me out a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's make a storage. That's now being built. Well, being researched, as I say. And now we can make a storage box. Nice. I don't know if I need to, but I think we do go through this void right now. And I'm going to grab what we can grab on the way and quickly check our journal as well. Oh, there's some more over there. I'm starting to hear a heartbeat, and I don't know if it's just because I'm getting closer to the void, void gate. Let's get back down here. God, them things. Let's have a quick look at my journal. Oh, that's not that. That's my build mod. Uh, journal. Research and build container one. Please hold. I thought I did. I did just... I did add it. So we don't get much... room. Why is that saying uh, log? They're not fully completed. Oh, research and build workbench one. Okay. So we need to research the workbench. Unlocks the building random floor light. That's a floor light. We're on phase two. Here we go. Workbench. One iron bar, one wood. And unlock the blueprint copper wire. So unlock the workbench. So copper bar, what do we need for that? We need scrap metal and chemical. So let's grab some chemical out of it. Can I shift click these over here? I can. And uh, 
Okay, good to know. Oh, what's this down here? Rounds? Oh, interesting. So there's going to be um, weapons. Let's make that. And I do need more wood. I'm just wondering. Not that one. I want the hammer, right? What's that sound? Where's the smelter? Uh, floor decor. Deconstruct. Does that give me my supplies back? It did. Okay. So let's get the workbench. What are you going to cost me to put it down? Two iron ores and one piece of wood. Can I make not enough fuel? I can't add fuel. So we've got wood fat, coal chunks, coal briquettes, charcoal, cooling coals, gasoline chunks, gasoline canisters. Interesting. Interesting. Iron bar, copper bar, iron bar, copper bar. These are recycled. Iron junk, copper junk. And we can recycle them into copper bars. Okay, this game is starting to get a little deep. And it's going to only get more deeper with uh, more stuff. We've got slot one, slot two down here. Suit, backpack. I'm guessing these are weapon slots, maybe. Suit, maybe some armor. Backpack to give us, uh, to carry more. Because we do have an inventory size of, uh, what, six? Twelve? Yeah. So now that we've got that, I don't... Th what do I need? I need two iron, right? So I need I need to find more wood. I'm just wondering to go back through this. Or... Just head back here. Let's gain some more speed. Oops. I wonder if I miss it, I lose speed. So I want to see if there's any wood. There's some wood right there. Let's grab this. Grab as much as we can. I don't know what to expect. Like, some of you might be commenting, oh, it's safe to go through the first one. I don't know. <laughs> so... I feel like there's all these resources here for a reason, so I feel like I should grab them. Nope. No, no, no. Let's grab as much as I can here. I think I've got enough to smelt the iron bars. Let's just add the fuel. I need to get some more fuel, but I'm going to make three iron. And I need some more wood. Oh, Jesus. I wonder if I can get detached from this cable. I have a suspicion that might be a thing. And I don't know stack sizes right now either. Maybe 10, maybe 20. It's usually the rounded off numbers, isn't it? Oh. I'm being pulled. But just keep grabbing everything as they come. Watch out for the blowy plant. Jesus. And I still run into it. I need the wood more than anything. Let's grab these last two here, then I think we should be okay. Grab that, grab that. Let's get back on here and make this workbench. Ugh. Okay, so it, it, it seems like we shouldn't really block off the all the edges because I need to get back on. Um, but hopefully now we can make the workbench, we can. We're gonna put that next to our storage. And then we're gonna change the transmission and start heading backwards again. So what we can do on here is we can make gear, bolts, springs, 
all that good stuff. And what are you telling me to make now? Complete technology stage two, which requires the completion of the copper stuff, right? So you want us to unlock this, which is stage two. Oh my God, water. Basic needs. Unlock the building kitchen, water flask. Uh, let me go back here because there's a lamp here as well, right? So we're going to unlock this. There's no point in moving on to our next tier. We are unlocking everything. Just like my, like I do in every other survival game. So now that we've got that. Ship lamp three. Storages, production and decor. Okay, we might use these tabs. It's going to be a lot easier. And in here, we've still got this stuff. Okay, what's the journal tell me, uh, tell me to do now? Complete technology stage three. Okay. So I feel like we're going to move towards the next area here because we are draining the resources out of this vicinity. But to complete stage three, we're going to need one copper wire and one spring. So if we look at this, so let's make one spring and copper wire. And for that, we're going to need one copper bar. And let's make one copper bar. We don't have fuel, so let's add one wood. Make one copper bar. That's going to take six seconds. I love how we can just grab it, grab it off here as well. I feel, I feel like that's great. We've got the workbench as well. That's been crafted, which means we can now unlock the water. Oh, we need the, the copper wire, don't we? What was that? We can now unlock the copper wire. So let's craft that one. I wonder if we can start automating all this soon. Feels like I'm dying. Is it my health? Oh, I left it on the workbench, didn't I? I've got to remember to pick it up off there. So now we can make the uh, kitchen. So I'm guessing the next objective is going to be for the kitchen requirements. Container rack. Unlock this building by... Oh, so that means we can stack these shelves on there. Interesting. And some railings and some furniture. These are kind of just like deco stuff down here, but these are like the most useful ones. We are heading towards this gate as well. So let's check our journal uh, and build a water condenser. And that's going to require... Um, wait. A water condenser. This. So two wood, one bolts, one copper wire. So bolts, we don't have any resources. We don't have literally anything right now. I'm not seeing anything. So I think we should head towards the gate, head through there and see what a new void is going to bring us. So let's kind of speed up a little bit here. I've got to admit the sounds of the train on the tracks is, uh, is really well done. Okay, here we go. Honk, honk. We're passing through. This is kind of cool. I don't know why I've never thought about jumping on this until now. I don't know if this is a save zone. Oh. Whoa. Holy moly. Oh. Of course, I didn't expect to be greeted with balloons and fanfare, but where is everybody? Excuse me? There's actually buildings. I'd tell you what to do about it, but I have no idea. Okay, this is going to open a lot of things. I thought we might have just been on the train all the time, but I guess not. So at least we know we can grab some supplies 
from land point of interest. So there's going to be hazards, as we know. And some, maybe some lore to uncover as well. As you know, I'm a sucker for lore, so... But I hear something, like... Something purring. Is that gonna hurt me? Science? Yep. Good to know. I'm having to science things just to know what they are. If I know it's got big massive teeth, I don't need to science that. It's like a bloody maze. Can I? Jump across there. Oh, okay. I can. So the hook is kind of just like automatic. Do anything with these. There is a way up there, of course. Oh, is this a jump puzzle? Kind of. Oh, nearly. Poor thing. Well, the goddess oh, of boy. time and fate can't weave a long life path for everyone. Hello. Well, <gasps> at least he won't be needing the revolver anymore. We'll definitely take that. Nice. We've got six rounds as well. Oh, and it's infinite. Good to know. Who do you think this skeleton was? So many diagrams on the table. He's probably some kind of designer. Well, used to be. Definitely used to be. Okay, reload time is pretty quick. I'm gonna guess the damage is gonna be pretty low, of course. New naught added. So it's just a sketch. This is what we saw out front. Was this? I'm guessing we're able to go and hey, check check it. He left the combination of the safe right out in the open. That was a great idea. But don't ever do the same thing, okay? Wait, he did what? I got an idea. We're gonna need those parts soon. What parts was that? I definitely need to change my keybinds a little bit. I would like my inventory to be on tab. And I like how I've got infinite rounds. Hello, friendly. Can I melee? I can. Oh, can I just walk into this? I thought there might have been some creatures. Another one of these power. Now about my brilliant idea and the details. The console on the platform looks suspiciously similar to the device in the blueprints. It was mentioned there in the train upgrade paragraph. Okay. Interact. Oh. Oh. Okay, then. Mechanical engine. Wagon platform, zero out of two. Crew, zero out of two. What crew members are we going to get? They're, they're like... It's like a little symbol, like a little doggo. Impe oh, okay. Right. You guys, I want you to put in the comments below what you think we should call it. You know, 
I'm I'm probably gonna see like Spoon Express, you know, all that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments what you think we should name the train. I think it'll be a fun little thing. It might be the next episode or the episode after where you guys let me know. Um, but do let me know. So, not enough resources. Build a module and upgrade wagon. Okay, so we can build these stuff on it. We can upgrade the wagon, though. An engineer. Oh, Truly beautiful. An engineer. So, to make a platform, we need this. Constructions. Transmission handle. These are automatically already on. The horn. Constructions on this one. Front, we don't have any things researched there. Build modules. Uh, so, we actually need to build the actual floor over here, right? And that's going to... Is that going to be... I don't think that's in here, right? Because... Do I need... Oh, my bad. I had to science. So I think... Do I have to manually build the floor in for this? Wooden floor. I do. Okay. Wait a minute. So if it's blue, it's a blueprint. This is... Ah, oh, okay. That's why my chest before was blue. It's because I didn't have the resources. So it puts it down. And I don't have the resources to put it. So I can kind of design the ship... Uh, well, the ship. The, the train how I would like it. But... Okay, that's kind of cool. So we know we want to do that. We know we need to collect more wood. I feel like we have searched this place a lot. And if we look back on this, we're obviously going to get more stuff, right? And this is kind of like our first module. So this is going to be kind of like the engine bay. So we want to make sure there's room on, on here. And all that kind of stuff. And we can change the previous cars and all this kind of stuff. Look, we only have the one car right now. Uh, but we've upgraded and uh, just leave the depot um, quest water storage and all that kind of good stuff um, so maybe is the water is the extra platform needed right now but oof I didn't expect to get whiplash like that now we're moving into this next area What's it going to bring? Oh, we're speeding. The okay. Leech is not clever or intelligent. You can hardly call it dangerous either. Baubles. We have life here as well. And we can't go further back than this. But let's grab some more supplies. Jesus. We need to build that water as soon as possible because I'm just looking at that health, that heart below our heart at the bottom left-hand corner. And if that depletes, I'm wondering if our heart, uh, health's going to slowly go down. We can still stand on this. But maybe we can't... What is that? That's like a leviathan. That is terrifying. That can stay over there. That doesn't need to come near us. Hey, friends. All right, let's grab supplies as we move. So as soon as we go over the locomotive here, or the cart, it does kind of drop us down instantly. Grab as much supplies as we can. Some chemicals over there, but we do have a lot of... A 
he has a health bar. What did what did he do? What is happening? What is that? Was it that thing that put some like lovely traffic police here? Putting some things on my uh, tracks. Good to know. Let's grab some more supplies here. There's some wood back as well. I want to go and grab that. Oh my god, it goes so deep. Like, if anything can come out of this. This void. There's that big creature though. I'm freaking out about that thing, you know. But let's see if we can uh, make this now. So we need more iron. So we need to get some more smelted. So we want to get some. Oh, we got some fat. So we get that from the creatures. We're going to need an iron bar. Because we're going to need some bolts. And I'm going to put some copper in there as well. Not enough fuel. Let me add some more wood. I don't want to put, uh, like, too much wood in there. Let's stop the brakes as well. Production and water condenser. So I need... Put this down. I love how we can just kind of place this wherever we out like the whole snapping. What was that? I heard a thing. So now we need some bolts. Oh, I need copper pipe. Oh, was it this dinging that it was complete? I think it was. And we need some copper pipe. Throw all them onto there. There we go. 119 seconds. Or plus the, the health bar at the bottom is uh, is out. We're not losing health, which means we're okay for that. I'm just wondering if the bar underneath means if we fill one of them, it will heal us. Or is that life? I can't. We'll find out, I guess. Whoa, I thought I fell. I thought I just fell into the abyss. But now that we've built that, let's look into our journal. Collect water from the conden condenser, which we've got to wait just about oh, one minute, ten seconds. So I'll wait for that, and then we'll get that objective done. All right, two seconds left. One second. Collect the water. And now we've got that. Build a kitchen. So what can we do with this water? It's for food. Use. Okay, so it went up like maybe 15%. 10% maybe? Yeah, 10% at least. Wait, actually, I think it said 5% on the thing, didn't it? I'm just not reading. So that's going to take some time. So getting multiple of them is going to be a necessity. But we need to build a kitchen. So what do we need for that? That's going to require... Um, copper wire. So we, basically we just need iron. Oh no, we need some copper as well, sorry. So we need two iron. We're going to need three wood altogether. Four wood, sorry, altogether. Let's just kind of get this and place this down. get that down. Have I got anything to... Crap. Anything to smelt right now? I do. Um, 
not enough fuel. We need more fuel. Fuel is a big thing right now. Something we need to keep getting hold of. And I'm noticing it's not as... It's right there. Easy to collect as everything else. We can see stack sizes as well. Oh, stack size seems to be 10. 10 stacks. Good to know. I don't know why these aren't auto-sorting themselves. Hey, friends. Oh, what was that? Hold on a minute. Oh. Okay, I got some fat from them. Damn it. I can't grab that stuff the too far. I feel like my... <laughs> They're so cute, but I need to kill them. I need the supplies. I'm sorry. Right, add fuel. Add fat. Add two wood. We're going to add two of that. Then we need to add one copper. I can't reach that far. I feel like... I wonder if we get a cable upgrade. Sorry, friend. There is a bit of... Uh, so these kind of all rush around if they hear gunfire. Copper bar. A lot of you guys are going to be going, you're so evil. I know. I know. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> right, so for this, we needed bolts and a gear. Oh. Ultimate. Oh, gear. Uh, and we need bolts as well. No, oh, so I've got to take it off before I can make something else. Uh, and bolts. Then was it copper piping? It was. And some copper piping. Let's put them into there. Let's grab this one. And then we've got ourselves a kitchen. So then we can boil the water. So we got plus two from that. And we can boil the water. Prepare a, and drink boiled water. Okay, so no wonder we... Uh, and we need to add fuel to this. Of course we do. We're going to add some fat. Boiled water. And that's going to cost two as well. Max. Craft that. Ten seconds each. So this does stock up, so I don't need to collect this every time. There is a bar, as we saw... Easy fuel. Collateral. Leather. So we need to grab them for maybe some armor. Organic seeds. Where did that come from? I don't know where that come from. Uh, pick up. So I've got some boiled water. So let's take a drink of that and let's see how much that goes up. It's going to go up by 10%. Okay. So if you boil it, so if you consume one wooden boil, you get an extra 5%. Right. And we can add that to favourites as well. Good to know. Good to know. Right, next thing we need to do is research and build the container rack. 
And the container rack consists of one iron bar, one wood, and one bolts. So let's get this train moving and bloody grooving. And collect more resources so we can build more and more things. But this is only just the start. <laughs>